Hey guys, what's going on? It's Desire from Desire here today, ROIV Gaming, whatever you want to call me. And today we're going to start a brand new series based on Stardew Valley, right? Okay, so I've got like a four year save. I just go into my lewd games. Uh, my son has got a hat save, what he used the cheek thing on. Uh, and I just want to start afresh and I'm going to go a different route uh, because I've built up everything in the community center on my proper save, this one here on the top, 74 hours worth. Um, and this time I want to go. Uh, the Georgia route and just do everything wheat factory farm uh, so they've been making other things as well um, and yeah so we're gonna start a new safe I'm gonna be a female character because you know I want to be female this time I was male last time um, let's have a look uh, we're gonna be white what sort of hair shall we have let me just spin this back around whoa oh let's go for like something uh, that. yep maybe oh that one seems to okay as well we're gonna go for that one little pigtails right um what shirt shall we wear let's be an emo chick <laughs> oh i've got a beard all right let's just get rid of the accessories well i've got an accessory on there i'm gonna be a cat person as well this time because i was a dog in my other one i was a dog person i should say that uh, yeah, that'll do. Um, let's change our pants, our trousers here in the UK to uh, black. Proper emo chick. And let's go for purple hair. Bit like Abigail in the game. Um, maybe just darken that up a little bit. Yeah, like that. Uh, actually, let's go. Wee, a bit of lag on the switch. What the hell? Um, okay. That seems good, everything's good. Uh, and we're gonna be called, what shall we be called? I'll tell you what, let's be called Keely. That's my wife's name, okay? So we're gonna be called Keely. And the farm name can be, um, oh, well, we're gonna call it the same farm name because it's the name of me. We're gonna call it Desires. And uh, let's just put a little apostrophe in there, like this. Desires uh, and the favorite thing. What's our favorite thing? This is important for when you get star drops because it says like my last save my favorite thing was uh, Money so on the last YouTube video I done and um, so if I got a star drop and it says your Your heart and soul is filled with the thought of money. So we're gonna put family Okay, that's the most important thing to me and games uh, But yeah family just in case my wife's listening <laughs> right, we're gonna we're gonna go on a different. I just went on the default standard farm last time, but I want to give this one a go. The wilderness farm. There's plenty of good land here, but beware at night the monsters come out. Uh, just to make it a little bit more difficult, uh, we're gonna skip the intro because I've seen it 20 million times when I've been messing about with saves and stuff. And here we go. Okay. So we started, got to be careful, extra careful now because when it starts getting dark there's going to be monsters that are going to try and eat my face off and obviously I don't want them to eat my face off. So to stop that I'm going to adjust my chair, watch for the noise. Um, we're going to have to be very careful on time and energy uh, because that's going to be a massive thing if I'm out late and it's dark, I've got really low energy, I can't afford to swing my sword and stuff like that. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go into the settings and we're going to turn that on. Uh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Um, and that's it. Okay, let's get our 15 parsnips and check our journal enemy. Yeah, you receive 15 parsnips from Mel Lewis. Thank you, Mel Lewis. I'm um, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the till soil to sow a crop. Whatever, whatever. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Okay, we can do that. Introductions. We've met two out of 27 people, and that is Mel Lewis and Robin. Uh, they're from the intro that I skipped. If you have never seen this game or never seen the intro, just search Stardew Valley uh, Grandpa intro on YouTube. You should be able to find it on there. It's literally the basis. Um, your granddad is dead, and he's left you a farm. He said, Don't, you can't have the keys to the farm until you think you're ready. You have a very, very boring job, and like an office job, and then you decide this is it, you're going to go and run this farm. Okay, 
So I need to check the telly every day. So it's going to rain all day tomorrow. That's good. So I don't have to water my plants tomorrow. So I'll save a bit of energy there. Uh, spirits in good humor today. I think you'll have it a little extra look. So we're going to plant our seeds and then go foraging. Every time we've got um, some good luck, we're going to go foraging uh, for stuff because we need to make as much money as quick as possible because I'm going the Georgia, uh, Georgia route or whatever it's called. Okay, it's a bit weird. Right, so I'm going to just place on this grass quickly. Uh, because using my cypher doesn't actually expend any energy. So that's a good thing. And I don't have to worry about um, gathering hay because I haven't have no silos yet. And that'll all come later on. Can't even break them tree, trunk, tree trunks. I'm going to have to expend a little bit of energy getting rid of some of this. I might do it up here, my parsnips, just in this little this little edge here. Okay, um, let's just get rid of this stone and this stone. And we're going to plant our parsnips there. So we've got 15, so 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a shame. Okay. I'm going to have to get rid of that tree as well, I think, because it's sort of in my way. Okay. Let's get rid of, of this tree as well. I'm not going to use too much energy doing this. Although I think it's like 13 hits or something stupid like that with the, the normal axe. Just so I can see a bit better. Well, that's going to give me a bit of wood anyway to make some chests. Because I'm not going to have much backpack space this early on. Which uh, sucks right at the beginning. Okay, let's plant these seeds. So, for those who've never played Stardew, it's very addictive. <laughs> very addictive. That 75 hours was all done in the space of about a week and a half. Um, I literally just hammered it. So addicted to my game. I was lucky enough... Ooh, Lucky enough to get four lit candles on my uh, third year, start my first third year, uh, first attempt, which is good. And that basically is on Grandpa's shrine, which is right over in this corner. I wonder if I can get there. Oh. Right over here in this corner. This cave, we'll, we'll talk about that later on. It might be a different place actually now. On, oh no, it's here behind this tree. So this is Grandpa's Shrine. Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. So as soon as you go into the third year, Grandpa will appear to you and he'll tell you how you're doing. And if you've made enough uh, good relationships and you've got a good farm going, you're earning profit and some other factors as well, like uh, completing the community centre, it, it basically works off a point system. And if you get all four candles lit, uh, you get something called the Statue of perfection or something like that and it basically gives you between three and eight iridium ore every day um so we're going to go quickly look foraging there's a good start we've got a leak um and a daffodil i haven't got any space what we're going to do we're going to get rid not that we're going to get rid of the fiber the sap and the clay and the mixed seeds because we don't need them yet i know the mixed seeds can make me a bit more money but we don't need them yet okay uh, we're just going to forage and make sure we can forage as much as we can whilst introducing ourselves to everyone uh, just so we can make a, as much money basically as we can like i said we've got to be really careful on time though because having the monsters out i've never played like this so i don't know how it's going to play out um we've got nothing to worry about today there's nothing to do let's just go and introduce ourselves to some of the people there's gus right, okay he's getting some supplies for that's money Hi, money. Cool. I know you sell livestock. I can't buy this yet, although it'd be nice. Twenty, uh, two thousand. I need for twenty-four slots. Um, it is Abigail. This is my future wife. Okay. Anybody else in there I can introduce myself to? God, these people have a big house. Who's this? Oh yeah, it's Caroline. Hi, Caroline. Alright, yeah, I know your husband runs the general store. And now I have played this for 75 hours. I know the gist. Okay, um, now let's go forage it again. Uh, and then we'll make our way over to where the blacksmiths are, see if we can meet anybody else. Okay, also, I don't know if it's seen me. I hope not. Oh, nothing in that bin. Ooh, he nearly saw me. Uh, I think this guy's called Shane. Sam, that's it. Hey, I'm Sam, good to meet you. Hi, Sam. 
Um, maybe this one up here is Shane. Shane's like really grumpy. He, he doesn't really like to talk to people. Oh, this is Alex. Yeah, okay, cool. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, hello. Hi, Pam. Yeah, I don't need to read none of this. This is basically just introducing myself trying to do the quest because I get a bit gold once I've done that. Merluce lives in that house, but I've already met him, so I'm not too fussed about meeting him again at the, at the moment. Um, Lord of Daffodils, this is good. Let's go in here and meet Clint. Hi, Clint. Why can't... Oh, look, he won't let me talk to him. Um, what I am going to do, though, I'm going to buy one copper ore. I know that's cost me 75 gold, but it means he'll come to me tomorrow and I should get fairness. If I remember correctly, that's how it works anyway. Um, there's no point going in there yet, because I can't talk to him until I get the cutscene. I may as well check his bin, though. Okay. I don't think I can even buy... Um, I can't remember how much it was. I think it was 5,000 gold to buy the membership for the Jojo Mart. Um, basically, you've got two options in this. You can go with the community and build up the community centre. Um, and everyone likes you a bit more. Oh, that's my computer. Or you can go the George R. Right? It doesn't really affect relationships. And you can basically get all the stuff you get from the community centre bundles just by buying it with gold. Um, yeah. 5,000 gold. Right, I haven't got 5,000 gold yet, so I can't even do that. Well, there's Pam, but I've already spoke to her today. Ah, uh, this is Shane, because he works in... Not this one here, the, the one in blue down there. Sounds on the clock, Ben. I'll get in trouble. Alright, this is Shane. He'll moan at me. Oh, uh, no, he doesn't even want to talk to me. Screw you. And I can't talk to this girl for some reason. She's the like only person I've ever come across that I can't click on and speak to. Um, and I just, I want, I just want to say hi. Just you know, let me say hi. All right, we'll go at the top. What are we doing on time? It's one fifty p.m. at the moment. Are we doing all right on time? Uh, let's go and see Linus. How many more people have we got? So we've met eleven out of twenty-seven. So we've still got a lot of people we still have to meet. Um, but we can, we don't have to meet them all in the first day. Although it would be nice. Uh, hello, Maru. You know, a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, there's some worms there, look. When you see little worms here, you just dig them up. You might get something. So I'm this, I can take back to uh, Gunther at the library, where I said there was no point going in there yet. And I can give that to him. Uh, and then I've basically got to collect loads of minerals and artifacts. And... Uh, complete them and I'll get stuff from that as well. Alright, move out my way, please, Demetrius. Thank you. Uh, oh, look, there's a geode in there. Alright, okay. Yeah, visit going for at the museum. Okay, we'll do that in a bit. We'll just. We'll, I know we've already met Robin, but I like Robin. She's a nice girl, so we'll say hi to Robin. Uh, not quite. I'm getting there. Uh, Linus is up the top usually. Three o'clock, we're doing all right. That's still blocked off. Of course, it's blocked off. It's the first day still. Hello, Linus. You know what, mate? You're going to be the first person I give a gift to. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, he likes anything that you forage, uh, so it's quite easy to build up your relationship with Linus. Um, at this stage, I can only give people two gifts a week, but once I get to a certain amount of hearts, I think it's ten hearts, you can give them as many gifts as you like a week, but only one per day, so up to seven a week, basically. Uh, and that obviously increases your relationship quicker. Because who knew? People have starred you like gifts. Okay, um, we're going to go down the bottom, hopefully, towards Marnie's house. Ah! And we're going to go and try and meet Leah. She's down there. I don't need to cut this. Right, okay. Right, so now we're through here. The shape of the map is different from what I'm used to, so bear with me on that. This is Marnie's house. We'll see if um, anybody else is in there. I can't remember the little girl's name. Her, over there. This is who I want to meet. A jazz, that's it. She's a child. Um, okay. Go down and see if Leah's around her house. Oh, there's a... Um, 
Hurley, and then we'll go through and see Emily as well. I don't care what you got to say, Hurley. Hurley's like the the biatch of the group. <laughs> I have no interest in marrying Hurley. But hello, mate. I'll introduce myself to you as well. Hi, Vincent. All right, let's just walk. This is the good thing about Stardew. Like, I don't know none of these people, but I can just walk directly into the house, and it's absolutely fine. Nobody even blinks an eye. I look uh, exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jordy. Oh, I'm Keely. Uh, I'm just going to walk into your house. I'm a complete stranger, but I'm just going to walk in there anyway, uh, because you're not going to say anything about it. You're not going to dislike me any anymore for just walking into your house. Oh, why can't I just steal your stuff as well? The good thing is, I can stick a um, chest in the house as well. So once I learn what gifts people like, I can just literally put a chest of that specific gift in the house so I don't have to waste inventory space carrying it around. It's insane, like, the, pe the people of Stardew Valley are so trusting. Oh, hello, there's Leah. I really like Leah, she's a nice girl, Leah. Okay, so I'm gonna head back to Gunther and give him this and watch the very boring cutscene that I've saw a million. Actually, no, I'm gonna go down to the beach first. I can do the artifact tomorrow. Uh, this guy's pretty cool. He's always been pleasant. Uh, he lives in this little shack here. And we're gonna collect this as well. Um, and then we'll go and see Willie and get a fishing rod. Because that's one thing I do want to focus on on this, on this save. I want to do a bit of fishing because I think. Oh, my inventory's full. Hmm. Alright, let's get rid of this grass. Damn it. You know, I'm going to get rid of the stone as well. I don't need that right now. Because I'm going to get a fishing rod now. Off. Willy. Where you at, Willy? Oh, he's not even here. I must have, must have left it too late. He'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Or maybe you just got to do it on the second day. Alright. Uh, so it's going to start getting dark. So I'm going to head back to my house and go sleep. I don't want to come across any monsters at all. And then we'll see what the first day comes tomorrow. Okay. All right, let's just try and get back before it actually gets dark. Because I don't even have a sword yet to defend myself. It's a shame I didn't get to meet Emily. Emily's my current wife on my other save. But I'm in the middle of trying to have an affair with Abigail. <laughs> Just because Emily started talking about talking to plants and stuff after we got married, it was a bit strange. Right. How many people did I meet? 20 out of 27. That's not a bad start, guys. That's not a bad start at all. I'll try and meet the rest tomorrow. Okay. Oh, it's getting dark. It's going to be really tight, this. The good news is I didn't use as much energy, so I could still defend myself if I needed to. Uh, but I don't really actually want to come across any. I can't pick it up, can I? Because I'm full. I can pick that up, though. So we'll go the wood route. What I could do, why... It's actually... I'll stay on my farm and maybe cut some of these trees down. Get a bit more wood. At least expend all the energy. May as well use it all up while I've still got time in the day. Otherwise, it's just a waste of a day. I've met a lot of people today. It's been a good first day on Stardew. Um, I can't pick the sap up, but I'm not really too fussed about that. I've got a much bigger pond really close to my house, which is good, um, than my last save. So later on in the game, I'll be able to just fill that with crab pots. I'm going to lose a lot of that wood. Damn it. Okay, so tomorrow's going to rain anyway. I didn't get as much as I would have liked foraging. You know what I'm going to do with this rust rusty cog? Because I'm going to sell it. Um, the only thing that I'm going to keep is the wood and the copper ore. And I'm going to make a chest. And I'm going to put the chest in here. And I'm going to put the copper ore and the spare wood in there. And that's it. I'm going to go sleep for the night. And I spent 75 gold, but I made 242 back, so first day was a productive day. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more from Stardew Valley, just let me know in the comment section below. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button so you know when I'm releasing a video or going live. Guys, I will catch you on the next one. Ciao.